All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please let me know if you have any uh, problem uh, from your side. Uh, before we start, uh, first I want to say a Merry Christmas, everybody, especially for those who already uh, they had the Christmas started as 25th of December. Uh, for us now, we are just uh, almost an hour and a half away in the USA. Uh, before uh, we start, I don't want to like change the topic later. There's a, a Muhammad and his name is Dr. Umran. And Dr. Umran is a doctor. And I told him to call me. But Dr. Umran is afraid. And he said to me, you are aggressive. Which means Dr. Umran, he is afraid something will happen to him. I mean, you are a man. I mean, what will happen? It's just a Skype. What will happen? So this guy, he called himself a doctor. And he said to me, I don't have time even to waste with it. So what are you, what are you texting me? I mean, <laughs> sometimes I wonder when people, they grow, uh, how they became mature. I mean, when you are going to be mature, if you are not willing to waste your time, why are you are texting me? I'm from, there is 7 billion of human beings in the world. And you have no time to waste, but yet you are texting Christian Prince. Why? Don't ask me. I have no time to waste. Uh, simply, you are scared. And I understand. It's okay. Next time, let your dad talk to me. Or mommy. Now, he said to me, why uh, uh, why Paul, he went blind uh, when he, uh, you know, uh, you know, when he went to Damascus in the way of Damascus, etc. I mean, here we see the ignorance of those Mohammedan. It is in your book, you, I don't want to use the word idiot because idiot people, they will be upset. I mean, you don't even deserve it. You are an ignorant with certification, yet you call yourself a doctor. This is Ibn Kathir. Qisas al The Prophet Stories. Variant number two. Do you see it? Dr. Umran. I mean, you know what? I will shave my 20-foot beard if you are a doctor. Maybe a pet doctor. And I feel sorry for the pets. وَكَانَ مِمَّنْ آمَنَ بِالْمَسِيحِ وَصَدَّقَهُ مِنْ أَهْلِ دِمَشْقِ رَجُلٌ يُقَالُ لَهُ ضَيْنَا And it was one of those who... This is Ibn Kathir reporting the story. Ibn Kathir reporting the story. Hmm? Uh, that there is a person who from Damascus who believe in the Messiah. His name is Dayna. You know, for sure he got the name wrong. We know the name of the, you know, he, he's talking about. But as usual, Muslims, you know, they, they copy stories from the tale. And, uh, and he was hiding in a cave. It's not really a cave. It's uh, like a, a basement and a ground house. Uh, in, the, in the next to the, next to the east uh, uh, gate of Damascus. In close to the uh, church, which have a cross. I mean, look at the description. All the churches have a cross. Maybe crazy. Khawfan min Paulus, because he was afraid from a person. His name is Paulus, the Jew. Paulus is a Jew. And he was unjust. He was very bad. You know, like very unjust. Uh, he hid the Messiah. And then when he came to him, and he did shave his, uh, uh, the, the head of his, uh, uh, his uh, uh, nephew, uh, uh, because he believed in the Messiah. And then he took him around. This is me, Paulus. So Paulus, his nephew, he believed in the Messiah, and he shaved his head, and he took him around the country, and then, like, to show, to expose, like, to, to humiliate him. And then after that, he stoned him to death, according to Ibn Kathir. And then, and, and when, uh, when uh, Paulus, he heard that the Messiah is coming. <laughs> the Messiah is coming to, to Damascus. He went to Damascus. <laughs> and then he took his mule. Paulus, he used a mule. He don't use, uh, you know, he have a special mule, like a limousine. Uh, and he went to kill the Messiah. Let me, just me light, light up so people will know what I'm reading because this is in Arabic. And I cannot use Google Translation here because this is Google Books. I cannot click at the link and make translation. So anyway here, so when Paulus, he heard that the Messiah, uh, 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 peace on him, was coming to Damascus, he uh, get ready with his uh, mule and he went to kill him. And then 
he met him in an area called Kaukaba. Kaukaba. And when he faced the Messiah, uh, he faced the, the disciple of the Messiah, uh, 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 an angel came to him and hit him in his face with the edge of his wing and made him blind. And then, let us uh, take this line so we can, let me, let me make it more uh, thin maybe. It don't look like this is the only line we have. So, and then, after he made him blind, did you, did, are you listening, Dr. Amran? I mean, stupidity. And he made him blind. And after he made, he became a blind, when he, when, when Paul, he saw what happened to him, that was very, uh, like, uh, uh, touching for himself. Which mean, uh, you know, he, he, uh, he, he noticed that he made a big mistake. And he believed in the Messiah. And he came to the Messiah and he apologized from him because of what he did. And then the Messiah forgave him. He, he accepted his apology from him. And then and he asked the Messiah to wipe his eyes so he can see uh, again. And then uh, he gave him his eyes and he made him see again. And the story continued. So Dr. Amran, the kid who keep texting me, I blocked you because I, I offer you to call me. And you are scared. So if you are making a story why Jesus he made Paul blind, as you see, he did not really make him blind. He made him see. So the blind was temporarily because many of us are, we have eyes, but we are blind. So this miracle is to prove to Paul, who was in denial that the Messiah is his Lord. So when this is happening to Paul, he had no choice but to accept that this is, must be God. So he believed. So for an idiot like you, you are trying to make fun of the story. But yet it's in your Islamic books and I can show you tons of reference. But what you can say? You call yourself a doctor. Zach and I call himself a doctor. So... I guess nobody better in a, I mean, we have the same equality here. Now, we are done with this. We go back to Christmas. Sorry, guys, I have to, to give him what he deserves. All right? Uh, you know, sometimes, uh, like, uh, Muslims, when they, uh, uh, when they say things, I mean, I feel sorry for them. And they don't dare to call me because they knew there's an answer. They knew that this is a Christian prince. So he want to text me. Yet he's a man. He's not a child and he's a doctor. He's like 45, 50 years old. Can you send the link? Well, if I send the link, this is Google uh, uh, Google Books. The link, the link will be so big. So this is what I will do. Uh, maybe I will copy the link and I will shorten it. Hold on. Uh, I will shorten the link. Give me a second. Because as you know, Google links are very long. Let us see how we can shorten it. Well, we have tons of reference. Okay. Uh. Let us hope. Oh, it did not short it. Ah, here we go. It's shorted. Let us see. All right. Let me know, guys, if you can open it. I'm not sure. I did. I did shorten the link. Oh, what is this? Copied your R. But this is not a UR. Oh. I mean, what kind of short and the short is? No, it did not work. Hold on. This website is not good.
You see, this is taking too much time and let us see. Well, it's not working. Uh, anyway, I will try to post it under the info of the video. Uh, and later after we finish, you will find it there. It's long. It's very long. Oh, boy. Man, oh, man. Yeah. Well, I post it already. After we finish the, the, the broadcast, you can see it in the comment. All right. We don't want to waste our time on shorting links. And if you don't speak Arabic, it's use, useless for you anyway. This is good only for those who speak Arabic. Uh, anyway, so we go back and we, you know, we are happy. The short link work? Really? I don't know how it works. Uh, Blackstone, don't, uh, don't be... Uh, uh, guys, uh, everybody is welcome here. We want to have a nice people, adult, mature. And if you are just a kid, you don't respect yourself, I'm going to ban you. As simple as that. We don't have time. You know, we are here to have a good time. And there is there is a lot of wonderful people here. But obviously, there is a bunch of kids who they are, you know, just coming to be silly and stupid. Like when I was away, there was a, a person, his name is Fish or Father, something like this. He was insulting Jesus. I mean, okay, you know, you don't believe in Jesus. You don't like Jesus. Why are you coming calling Jesus names? What for? Go. Go watch cartoon. Go uh, watch movie. I mean, why you are here? There is some people, they are really weird. You know what I mean? There are some people, they have, an, they have a mental illness. When we debate with Muslims, I'm, I'm not coming to insult Muhammad. Muhammad, he insulted himself. He called us kuffar. He said that we corrupted the Bible. So he is the one who started accusing us of things. So we are responding to the false accusation of Muhammad. It's not us going after Muhammad. It is the opposite. All right? So even when we uh, refute this uh, madman Muhammad, we are just refuting his false statements otherwise you say why i don't talk about the hindus i mean hindus for me they are not not believers and i believe they're they don't believe in god i don't believe they are saved but i don't talk about them no buddhas there's i mean there's tons of things but you throw rocks at us we have the right to respond right Anyway, uh, uh, yesterday and the day before, we received a lot of calls, and I'm really happy for to, to have them. Uh, I'm really uh, surprised how many people called and how many people they were very excited. You know that we speak, and actually, I'm going to make like a time for Christian to call every week. One of you who asked me. Uh, uh, to give a time or maybe one once a week where Christians they can call and share and ask questions and I will do that you know but we will decide which day maybe maybe Sunday maybe we will see maybe Sunday or Saturday all right uh, Hindus and Buddhas are harmless harmless you know this is not really too much true you see uh, always always many in, in, in many countries uh, majority always oppress minority so sometimes even Christians they were not justice with uh, with minority but this is not Christianity you know this is not Christianity uh, but Islam is a religion oppress and now about uh, Buddha and etc they are peaceful as I know that the one who started or let's say established the Kung Fu are the priest right the martial art those are priests they are buddha priests they are not uh, soldiers so uh, you know information is not too much accurate about it however uh, for me i believe that uh, indian people are wonderful people and sometimes we can be uh, deceived by uh, leaders 
you know, which means religion can do one of two things: either will lead us to be human, or will lead us to be a bunch of uh, savage and do uh, bad stuff. So you will find a lot, uh, 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 you know, a lot of Hindu people. They are very beautiful, very nice people, and you might find some very aggressive and etc. And they are not tolerant. Uh, but the question is, at the end of the day, for me as a believer, who is the one who have a true belief? For me as a Christian, I believe that the Messiah is the only true person to follow. Anything else is false. So it doesn't matter really if it is uh, if your name is Hindu or Buddha or atheist or etc. This is my belief, and I am saying it to you uh, with no hypocrisy, right? Uh, like you know, if you go to uh, Indonesia as an example, I believe Indonesia is a wonderful country, and Indonesian people are wonderful people. But the second Islam enter to a house and you practice it, you will start being aggressive to it with your neighbors. Islam bring nothing but aggression. You know, I grew up all, all my life in the Middle East. All my life, and always Muslims they like to live between us Christians, not between Muslims. They wish. This is why if you go to a Christian area or a Christian live, you will see that the houses are very expensive compared to Muslim area. And a Muslim man is willing to pay three, four, five times than the real price so he can live there with his family. And this is the truth. You can ask that you can ask any Muslim. I'm, I'm not making things up. Ask any Muslim around you. They dream to live between the Christians. And there is reasons for that. They trust Christian. They don't trust Muslims. Muslims don't trust Muslims. Christ, He changed us and He makes something different out of us. We are the same people. We have the same color. We have the same language. Uh, we say the same word. We eat the same food. But we don't do what they do. And they don't do what we do. Right? Well, everyone have his own place where he live, so you have to be careful. For me, I have a mission. You don't have to do what I do, you know. But for me, I have a mission to share, to share knowledge, and to 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 share the truth, and the truth will set you free. Uh, I'm not saying you can do what I am doing, but at least you can share with your family and your friends, right? Right. Thank you, David. How are you, David? Oh, you, it's 3.45 UK until now you are did not sleep yet you better sleep man you better sleep <clears throat> yeah you know and the, and in the same time the, you know like yesterday we spoke about churches and uh, a priest and uh, you know uh, somebody have to do the job because sadly our churches they don't do anything I mean they are just doing service normal service which is happening for 2000 years but there is no real teaching and if they teach they teach only about the bible if they teach most of them they are just a priest he go to do he open the door people come we pray to the lord and then we go home you know and nice to meet you so we are doing what is missing you know something missing in our churches i just saw in the news a swedish church no not church sorry school teaching most teaching uh, uh, children's how to pray uh, like muslims i mean why you do that what, what, how in the world and why you do that and why islam i mean why okay, what about the hindus the buddhas how the buddha pray no no that uh, islam the european countries are broken their system is broken because the left you know they, they are they are trying to corrupt the society as much as they can wherever the left goes disaster come you see the problem is not really Islam the problem is those left and when I say the left everything about them is left nothing is right so you cannot teach about this religion unless you make the children pray to Allah I mean what is the logic in that and the funny they are atheist <laughs> they, they don't believe in God, but they want the children to pray to Allah. So there is, you know, there is a there is a kind of madness 
uh, it's like a virus in, in, in the brain of some people and they don't know what they are doing. So we are here, our duty here is to do the correction for the wrong is happening. There's a lot of wrong happening and somebody have to do the correction. Let us make it clear, I'm the one who do the, clean the garbage, sadly. Right? <clears throat> and you know, the funny, the, the left, the left, uh, the atheist, they say they are, they support gays, but yet they support Islam. They say they support, uh, 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 you know, like uh, they are anti-religion, but they support Islam. Uh, uh, women right, but they support Islam. Feminine movement, but they support Islam. I mean, they are the opposite. You cannot support both. <laughs> I mean, this is this is a clear sign of madness. How you can support this and this at the same time? Mental illness. But what I say to you that the problem is we Christians we are we are silence. You see, nobody hear us. Nobody hear us. When you go in a bus, somebody says something, you you, you keep your mouth shut. You go in the, some place, you keep your mouth shut because you are a Christian. You are nice, and you know this is what they taught you in the church. Supposedly, this is wrong. Wherever I go, a conversation open I bring what I believe in in the middle of the conversation the one who like it like it the one who don't like it let him leave as an example once I was waiting for the bus and at that time I was in uh, uh, coming from uh, uh, Greece coming from Greece and I arrived to Romania then I went to bus station and then there's a guy from Italy so I, we, you know, sitting there. So he said, "How are you?" And you know, etc. Where are you from? I said, "USA." He said to me, "This guy Trump is crazy. How, how you know? I feel sorry for you. Like you know, I'm, I'm sorry you are upset, right?" I said, what, "Why I'm upset?" He said, uh, "You know, he wanna build a wall. <laughs> he wanna build a wall." <laughs> I said, "So what's wrong with the building a wall? Do you have a wall for your house?" He said, "What?" He said, "Do you have a wall for your house?" He said, "Yeah." Said, "Do you have a door?" He said, "Yeah." He said, "Okay, he's having a door." For our 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 house, what's wrong with that? And he was like he was looking at me, and he was shocked because he was expecting me to say, "Yeah, he's bad, he's uh, crazy, he's uh, blah blah blah, he is racist." You know, he, he would look at his if you look at his eyes, his eyes coming out like that frog. You know, he, he gets scared actually the way I'm talking. So I said. So why is why is bad? So he said, no, no, I didn't mean to insult it. He gets scared, like uh, he felt like uh, uh, I get offended. I said, no, no, I, you know, I'm just uh, talking to you. I mean, what's wrong with that? If I go now to Italy and I don't have a visa, isn't it your government going to kick me out? He said, yes. He said, okay, that's what he's doing. All of you, you do that. But nobody want to use his brain. You know, people, they, they don't want to use a brain. They have a brain, but they decide to put it in the shelf. If I go to Italy right now and I want to, uh, and I'm not legal exist, and I want to work in a restaurant, the immigration, they come, they get me, and then they, they ship me free shipping and hand it back to, uh, to Saudi Arabia. This is what you do every day. All Europe, they do every day. All, all of them. Especially if you have a passport. Like, if you are not a refugee, you throw your passport in the middle of nowhere. I mean, this is a very funny excuse, by the way. You throw your uh, passport, and that's it. They can't kick you out. <laughs> I mean, this is the most stupid system ever. Europe Europe is, is in a big, big problem. Because those who they are controlling the Europe is stupid, officially stupid. I mean, how in the world somebody, just because he throw his passport, you can't send him back? So what if he sort of throw his passport? Like there was a there was a criminal. He is from Morocco, I think. I, I saw it in the news, and he was convicted with many crimes. But they can't send him back to Morocco because he don't have a passport. Who need a passport? Put him in an airplane, ship him to to Morocco. They have to take him. <laughs> he is their citizen. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm trying to say to you, that those people they have a voice and you don't. And the problem we Christians, we were silenced for long. 
we don't want to no, we, we are just watching and we are afraid we are afraid to offend somebody right we are afraid to say something and something will offend someone they are offending us every day they want to take the Bible from the hotels. They want to take the cross from the street. They want to take etc. From non-stop. Why? Because you are because you are so kind, so mute, so nice. Nobody hear your voice. It's time for you to talk. It's time for you to vote. Civil, you know, we fight in a civil way. We don't want to use violence. We don't want to be uh, 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 like a terrorist. And sadly, those crazy people, they respect terrorism. They don't respect uh, the nice Christians. You see, in Netflix, they just made a, a, a series about Jesus to insult him. But they don't dare to make the same thing about Muhammad because the Christians, they will not do harm to anyone. And for sure, we will not do harm to anyone. But doesn't mean we cannot punish you, Netflix. We can be caught you. And nobody will use your service. And actually now they are suffering. A lot of Christians dropping their service. And I will never use Netflix ever. Me, myself, I use it maybe once or, uh, or twice. But promise, I will never use it again. I mean, what's wrong with those people? So... The Christians are silenced only because we, uh, our priests are, are, you know, they don't exist. Why the priests don't say, hey guys, you know, we need to do something. We need to show Netflix that we are exist here. You know? They don't even dare to say in the church, be caught Netflix. They don't dare. Why? right so we have to unite and you see if you notice this is why you know me uh, always I, I do my best to unite us as a Christians right like today look Christian all the way from India from Indonesia from Hong Kong from China from 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 around the world all of us celebrating the day of Christ suddenly we are united I mean why we can unite only in this day what about uniting the whole year and let the whole world hear our voice we are we are the biggest number of population in the world we are more than three billion human beings way more we are more than half of this earth and Christianity not only is the biggest, is the fastest to grow and believe. China is coming to Christ as never ever believed. To, I mean, I cannot imagine how fast. If you go right now and search, <clears throat> uh, some people are trying to. Don't send me guys links or etc. I don't open links in my Skype. <sighs> Asim, he is sending me a video approve about Islam. Okay, Asim, why you don't call me? <laughs> I don't have time for kids, my friend. Sorry, I have to block you. You want to send me approve about Islam in a video? Well, I see Islam approve. You know, they kiss a black stone. This is the proof. It's a stone. You make one million videos, one billion videos. A prophet who kisses a stone, he cannot be from God. A prophet who say that a stone is the right hand of Allah cannot be from God. A prophet he say a stone have two eyes and tongue, he cannot be from God because he's saying that this is a living God stone. So you send me a video about proving Islam. What is the video saying? That the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. <laughs> all right don't send me messages my mr Asim. otherwise i will block you my friend you want to call you can call you want to call you can call no problem i don't open links in skype i have to block you actually because obviously you don't want to call you just want send send me links
Uh, let us see. Yeah, if anyone would like to call, feel free. You want to say Merry Christmas? People hear you. I will be happy to have you with us today. Now, for us, we should have a better strategy as a Christians. Unity is a must. Is not. Is not like a maybe. Maybe not. We have to be united. We have a very important person who can unite us, all of us. Christ. Priest, they will never unite us. This is why, you know, if you see a priest, he's speaking for unity, that means this is a good guy. If you see a priest, he's speaking to division, even maybe he is a good guy, by the way. He can be a good person, but he's wrong in that point. It's like, you know, uh, some Christian became like Taliban. You know Taliban? Shia and Sunni and etc. And they just fight each other. Uh, you know, because somehow it became like a business. I open my store and you open your store and my store is better than your store. So this priest, he's against that priest and your church is wrong and my church is better. And your people will go to hell and my people, those, those kind of priests, they will go to hell themselves. They are the first to go to hell because they are misleading people. Right? So, the Jehovah's Witnesses are not Christians. We don't care for them. We exposed, exposed their lies. They are not Christians. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, actually, I, you know, I, I, I will tell you that when the Iranian regime in Iran collapse, you will be surprised about how many people will convert to Christianity. Look, look, just today, if you go right now to the news, you will see in Iraq, in Iraq, the protesters, do you know what they did? The protesters, all of, the, all of them, they are Muslim Shia, all of them. They put the Christmas tree. Christmas tree. <laughs> because those Muslims are looking for happiness. Their life is, is sad. There's no happiness in their life. The only one can bring happiness is the Messiah. It's in the news. Go and see it. And if you go right now, go to Dubai, the biggest trees. Go to Kuwait. Go to Qatar. Go to Imara. I mean, you go everywhere. They are Islamic countries and they say we worship Allah, but all of them, they have a Christmas trees in their houses. And the funny, the Muslim sheikhs, they make a million videos say, Brother and sister, please don't celebrate Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, it's haram. So after all these videos about don't celebrate Christmas, Yet the Muslims are celebrating Christmas even more. Because Islam never brings happiness. Islam is just about, uh, you know, takbir, Allahu Akbar, jihad, kill each other, and hate. And, it's, you know, this is, this is the hate religion. There is no peace. You know, which country, which country have majority Muslims? They're having peace. Where? Where exactly? Which country is a majority Muslim country? They have a human right. I mean, how come this religion, they say uh, this is a perfect religion, wonderful religion, but yet a human being is uh, treated less than a dog? The guy, he went to the embassy, this Khashoggi, he's a terrorist, by the way, too, himself. He went to the embassy to get a paper to get married. They made him shish kebab. <laughs> Cutting hands, stoning people, beheading in Saudi Arabia every day. And they say ISIS is bad. And they say ISIS don't present Islam. What about Saudi Arabia? They do present Islam. They are practicing the true Islam. Saudi Arabia, they practice every day what ISIS do and what ISIS did. But nobody wanna say the truth. Name one thing ISIS did. Yeah, the only thing they did not do is burning people, right? This is the only thing. But they cut hands, they stone people, they do beheading, they do crucifixion. There's a there's a guy he's he's a sheikh his name is Auda Salman Al Auda or Al Auda uh, uh, he saw a dream what what is the crime of this guy he saw a dream and then he told his dream in YouTube let me see if I can find you the dream of this guy in YouTube 
Give me a second. Do you know what the dream caused this guy? The punishment for him is to be crucified and cut his hands and feet from different direction just because of a dream. This is Islam. This is Islam. The guy, he saw a dream. Here we go. This is the video. I will put it for you on the screen. I'm not going to play it so people will not claim copyright over it. You know. My stupid phone. Each time I say Google, he, he get, uh, you know, he, he, uh, he get activated the mic. Uh, let me put it for you. This is the guy. This guy, he have like a million and a half subscribers uh, to his uh, his uh, Twitter. Here he have a million. This video have many view, but this is not his account, you know. So he have like millions of, uh, of followers. He saw a dream. He saw what? He did not kill. He did not. He saw a dream. And his dream sound fishy against the royal family, you know. And the punishment is execution by a crucifixion and cutting his hands according to the Quran and his feet from opposite direction, which means they will put him in the cross, they will cut the right hand and then the left hand and and and, the, and then the left leg, a foot, and then they will cut they will cut the, the left uh, uh, hand and the right foot. This is Islam. And then they go around and they give us propaganda that this religion is uh, is about peace and Islam is very civil. I mean, what is the civil? The guy he saw a dream. <laughs> so if this guy he saw a dream, this is what they would do to him. What if a Christian prince is there? <laughs> you know what I mean? You see that? You see the madness of this cult. He saw a dream, just a dream. He didn't do anything. This is how it is. But nobody wanna say wanna, nobody wanna say the truth. You know, they have money. Saudi Arabia have money. And there's money they are willing to do anything for the sake of money. So uh, you know, Trump, he don't see that Saudi Arabia is uh, bad. The, Obama before him is the same. George Bush before him is the same. There's no, it doesn't matter how bad they are, they do. There's no human right in Saudi Arabia. There's no human right in Emirates. There's no human right in Kuwait. There's no human right in Qatar. There's no human right in Iraq. There's no human right in any Islamic country. Yet, they make them join the NATO. They sell them weapons. I mean, they sell them weapons. They are bombing Yemen. They sell them weapons. Weapon, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are bombing Iraq. Uh, somebody trying to call. <clears throat> Look like maybe a Muslim. I'm not sure. Let us see. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Hello. Well, sadly, your voice is bad, my friend. I can't. I cannot hear you. <clears throat> you see, while the Messiah was saying, "Love your enemy," this religion, fourteen hundred years ago, and today, they don't even love each other. All the caliphate after Muhammad, they've been killed by the Muhammadan. Where is the love of Muhammad? Where is the love of Allah? Where is Allah in your life? If, if Allah is God. And not only they kill each other. <clears throat> no problem, Mr. Uh, the one who is trying to call me, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, not only, do you, know, do you know how they kill each other? I mean, the, the, the caliphate. Hello? Uh, no. Yes? Yeah, I see you. How are you? I'm fine, my friend. You good? Uh, listen, CP, I I gotta ask you a few questions, actually. Like I just saw you online. I don't know the context of your video, but I like 
I just woke up, you know, and something well, I saw just we, made me. We stop. are we are uh, speaking about Christmas today, and uh, this is what we we have celebrating the Christmas. Oh uh, yeah, good, good, good. Because that's kind of my question. Hmm. All right. All right. Are you a Muslim? So, this, excuse me. Are you a Muslim yourself? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. No, you think I'm stupid or you think I'm that stupid? No, no, I'm no, just no. asking how I know. I mean, people, they call me. I don't know who they are, you know. Okay, go ahead. No, no, I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. All right. All right, but the question is, is, like, how do I handle Muslims being hypocrite on this day? Hypocrite in what? It's like, uh, on this day, you know, it's like they become more hypocrite than before. Actually, it's like you talk to them, they're like, oh, why matter. do you worship idols? Like, what is the black soul? You, you kiss you kiss the black soul and you call me an idol worshiper because, what, I'm celebrating Jesus? Like, and I don't know how to reply to that. No, reply them, reply to them, as you to said. Achieve. Reply to them, and that's it. You know, you did your job. So, you kiss a black stone, you, you bow down in front of a stone, you pray in the direction of a stone. Your religion is all about, all of it is about stones. And then for us, we are pagan. How we are pagan? Pagan. Where is the where is the pagan? For us, Jesus is God, and he is not a statue, and he's not an idol, and he is a person who came. And even the Quran proved that Jesus he healed, Jesus he knew the unseen, Jesus he can resurrect people from death, and Jesus can create from the mud the bird, as the Quran say. So what is left for Jesus to That's do? What God cannot point. do? That's exactly my point, but they're like, uh, it's like, oh, who is Santa Claus then? Who is uh, Santa Claus is a real person, my, my friend, hold on, hold on. Santa Claus is a real person. Oh, what you need to say? Just search, it'll take you two seconds. Santa Claus is a real person and he's a wonderful person. What's wrong with Santa Claus? Uh, exactly, they're, they're like, we worship him because, no, no. like, Santa no, you Claus see, you see, the problem is, is the, the problem is, my friend, that those people, they are copy yeah. paste, copy paste from each other, but there's no Christian who stand and give them the correct answer. This is the problem. So this question, they ask too many Christians, I assure you, and the Christians who listen to those questions, you say, yeah, Santa Claus, you know, uh, yeah, he's not real. But so Santa Claus is real. Who said he's not real? <laughs> who said he's not real? Yeah. He is real. I know. He's a wonderful person. You know, even he is considered the same as a saint because he was used to spend all his money in the, in the poor and in the, the children's. So he is a wonderful person and he exists and he's a Christian. So... Uh, 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 the problem is that we Christians, when somebody asks us, we are not willing to answer. So what you are doing is the right thing. Just to give them the answer. They like it, they like it. They want to hear people hypocrite. Let them be hypocrite, but you did your job. You know, the issue is, is like, most of them are my friends, and that's what pisses me off. Like, I'm sorry for my language. I'm sorry about that. I'm not, I'm okay. not perfect. Like, I don't... It's all right. Follow 100%. My friend, my friend. Well, first of all, first of all, right. Muslims yeah. who they are Muslims, Muslims who they are Muslims, they know the Quran. If they know the Quran, that's mean you are not their friends. According to the Quran, chapter five, verse fifty-one, it says, "Take not Christians and Jews as a friends." So, first of all, they don't accept you to be a friend. Even maybe they go around with you in the street, but you are not a friend for them because this is forbidden in Islam unless they are Muslims by name. I understand that yeah, for you, like you not, um, yeah, for you, you believe they are your prof, uh, your friends, and for us as a Christian, we don't mind to have a friends from. He's a he's a Buddha, he's a Hindu, he's an atheist, doesn't matter. But uh, but for them, no, for them, the Quran forbid a Muslim from taking you as a friend. And uh, you know, see, it's like I, I, I like. It's not a link I'm gonna send you. It's a reply to basically a guy like today, more, like yesterday. I don't, I like, don't open link. Don't send me no, links, please. Yeah, I cannot open links. But if no, you want to no. say something, just uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, say it. All right. So basically, I wanted to say is uh... hello. Yeah, it looked like he have a bad what? internet. Anyway, we got we got your point, my friend. No need to call again. So, uh, you know, for us as a Christians, not only Muslims, anyone, we have to be honest and give the answer. This is our belief. If you, you know, just give them the answer. The problem is Muslims, they say something and the Christians, they are very friendly. They are not willing to. Uh, the problem is my, they are my friends. So what? They, are, they just insulted you. They just told you that you are pagan. 
They just say to you, you are pagan, so what? You you know, you would not answer them? Well, you are the pagan, not me. Hey, prove, to, prove that I am pagan. How? Right? Islam is religion of paganism. Uh, hello? Yes, my friend. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. My, it's like I think my internet is bad. Or something. It's all right. Yeah. Uh, so basically, it's like they inspire me to go out more. And when I see like comments uh, for in so called films, you know, it's like they're talking about, oh, your pastors, they, they molest children. Hmm. It's like I'm pretty sure they know that the prophet did molest a child and that, that actually kind of like. Well, you know, yes, well, yes, my yeah. friend, my friend, obviously, like, o o of... yeah, obviously, you have you have good information about Islam, so you you can answer them. So don't complain. I mean, just they say, just give them the answer they deserve. That's it. You know, if if a priest is a child molester, he's a child molester, he's a criminal. We spit at him. You know, as simple as that. He That's... will go to hell. Jesus says that the, 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 it's it's better for you to to put a milestone in your neck and throw yourself in the deep ocean before you hurt the little one. So. Jesus said clearly, what is the punishment for those they will hurt the little one? It's better for them to put a milestone and throw themselves in the deep, which means commit suicide yourself. Get 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 rid of yourself before you do it. Because the punishment that is severe in hellfire. So those people who do such a thing for children, they will suffer badly for their crimes. But in Islam, they allow marrying children, having sexual relationship with them, and even they, they, after they marry them, they divorce them. There's a chapter, of, you know, 65, verse number 4, speaking about that. So, you know, we, uh, uh, always when they say something, let us not to complain about what the Muslims say. Let us just give the answer. No, there's no complaint. This is what they are. This is what they believe. And they are victims, by the way. They are copying, pasting what they heard from somebody. So it's our duty not to complain about what they say, but they get them, they get them the answer, right? Yes, exactly it, you know, and I'm, I'm seeing, uh, I'm sorry to see, but I'm seeing comments on the live chat, and I, can I address this real quick? No, no, it's okay, my friend, we will have uh, some more people want to call, but it's okay, don't, don't worry about the chat, I mean, chat people, they say whatever they want, but for us, somebody say something, you see, give him what he deserves. He speak about child molestation, give him what he deserve. Did he speak about uh, paganism, give him what he deserves, deserve, and let us see if he can answer you. As simple as that, you know? Right? I got you. All right. Thank I you. Got you. Take care, my friend. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you Christmas and your family. Uh, Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great year. Have great everything. And I'm telling all the people in the live chat, have a great day, year, and have a great life. Thank I you. really wish you all the best and God bless you all. Thank you, my friend. Thank, Thank you, sir. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take Yeah, you see, he, actually, he's doing a great job. When a Muslim, he says something to you, I mean, give him the answer. He, he's asking for it. <laughs> Correct? He's, answer, he's asking for it. He said that you are pagan. I say, okay, how I'm pagan? Uh, Santa Claus is a real person. We don't worship him. He's a brother of us. Do you see people praying to Santa Claus? <laughs> So, you know, when somebody says something, just give him what he deserves, all right? And like, like this is an example today, like this guy, he, uh, his name Dr. Omran, he texts me, but he don't dare to call me because he knew he's no match. And this is the case for all of them. The reason Muslims don't dare to call me, especially those who claim that they have knowledge, because they knew they are no match. They, were, they are willing to debate somebody have a blue eyes somebody do not know islam if you do not know islam all of them they will be calling you and they will be having fun right here i stay begging for one i say any muslim any muslim any muslim is like a homeless you know like any muslim i feel sometimes like i'm a guy sitting in front of the church begging some for for some change any muslim please if there's any muslim want to call me right <clears throat> But if you are a person, especially if you are a female, I don't be real. You know, once in, in Pal Talk, in the, it's a chat program. Nobody, the second I enter a room, they leave. You know, I, I left Pal Talk for long, so many people do not know me there now. But 
so there is a uh, there is a guy he said to me I will let my wife uh, open the chat room and uh, they, they will not know that you are there in the room so don't use your name so the Muslims they will come and the Muslim the room became full you know the it's a female speaking she put in her profile a picture of uh, the get she got from the internet it's just for fun you know uh, like for a blonde girl oh the Muslim lined up everybody want to talk to her everybody want to explain Islam and then suddenly I entered the chat room with my name Christian Prince the second I took the microphone the room became empty you can see like in the chat it says this person left this person left this program show you who left the chat you know they are gone they flee bingo so it didn't work it was like just for fun to see what will happen you know because it was a female and she have a blonde picture speaking all of them they lined up to want to talk to her about Islam the second they saw Christian Prince he hold the microphone brother brother this is Christian Prince get out get out this is Christian Prince once we went to a, a chat room there's a, a doctor uh, Dr. Tahruni Dr. Tahruni this guy he Dr. Tahruni he have a big a big chat room explaining Islam so I went there and I put uh, my hand up and I said uh, I would like to, you know to talk to you about Islam and Christianity he said sure so you are a Christian I said well my name is a Christian Prince what do you think <laughs> so he said okay brother sisters invite your friends we are going to have a nice uh, debate uh, now with uh, Mr. Uh, Christian Prince he agree and then they start saying to him in the chat hey, brother this is a Christian Prince brother brother this is a Christian Prince don't do it brother brother and then he start receiving private messages I hear the keyboard is going like crazy and he was like, mm, uh, uh, uh. and then he said, uh, 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 Mr. Christian Prince, uh, I think it's better if I will give you my email. If you have any questions, you can send it to me and I will answer you. Like what happened? We are going to have a debate supposedly. A second ago, you agree. And you told them, bring everybody and let us, uh, you know, bring the, 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 the your friends. We will have a debate and blah, blah, blah. Now they start and they start. This is a Christian prince, brother. Don't do it. This is a Christian prince, brother. And this guy, he was like saying, "Who is this Christian prince? What's happening here? Why, why I'm receiving those messages?" You know. And then he says, "No, no, I, you know, I said, didn't you promise me a second ago you want to debate me?" He said, "Well, the, the the brothers they advised me. They said it's not a good idea. And I, I, you know, we Muslims we we advise each other, <coughs> right?" I don't know if anyone here was in Pal Talk, remember, because many people, they came because we invited people too. They told them, okay, we got we got somebody to do debate Christian Prince. And the guy accepted. But the second, they, the same as Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, when the EBN TV, they said to him, we have a person to debate you. But I told I told the EBN, EBN, they are not really as smart. Don't tell anyone that it's me. Just tell him, you know. Anyway, so they told Shabir Ali, that uh, we invite you in the etc. He agree. Then Shabir Ali, uh, he searched and he bought my book. He bought my book. I actually I made a video about it. He cannot deny it, you know. And then Shabir Ali, he sent an email to uh, uh, ABN. He apologized. He is busy with his PhD. And since that time, he is busy. He will be busy for the rest of his life. Right? <clears throat> so if you are a person about the crucified, crucified man, what was you saying? Uh, I was talking about a guy, his name is Salman al Auda. He saw a dream in Saudi Arabia, and the punishment for him is a crucifixion. You know, he's waiting for uh, the, the sentence to be, uh, uh, to be done. Yeah. But anyway, if you are a person who do not know, all of them, they will be fighting over you, especially if you don't speak uh, Arabic. So we will say to you, <laughs> you don't speak. I, I Arabic is my first language and the, the, the idiot, they say Christian Prince do not know Arabic. You believe it? Arabic is my first language. 
and still they say you don't know Arabic. So what is my first language? Chinese, Chinese. Oh, who? My cousin is a Brosley. <coughs> Thank you for those who made the donation. We appreciate you. And I'm sure you do not need our uh, we do not need us to thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah, it looks like today not many people want to call. Uh, No, they cannot irritate me, my friend. You see, for me, for me, I'm here. I'm here. I'm doing my duty, and my okay. It's like saying to to uh, to somebody, you know the you know the guy who worked with the termite. The termite, he put a mask and he spray poison, to kill the uh, you know. So or the guy who cleaned the garbage or etc. My job required uh, certain conditions. This it's not nice job, you know what you can do. I mean, uh, people they try to they insult you, they uh, they do. I mean, all of us we knew. I mean, all those videos against Christian Prince for a very simple reason. This guy he is getting Islam busted. As simple as that. All right? Nothing more, nothing less. But those are a clear sign for me that I'm doing a great job because if they are not doing that, that's mean Christian Prince is doing nothing. You know what I mean? Those things are not against me. They are for my benefit. You know, many people, they say, they made, this guy, he made a video for you. This guy, so what? That's good. I want all the Muslims to make video about me. My friend, don't call. If you call once, that's it. Please, no need to more calls. Just once. We will let we take any call once. So... <clears throat> You see, when the Muslims, they make videos against me, they are bringing me more Muslims because who is the one who will view their videos? Muslims. Correct? Okay. And then what will happen? It doesn't matter. The Muslim in the beginning, he will say, yeah, I agree with you. This guy is a liar, blah, 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 blah. But they knew that he is hiding something too. It can tell. I mean, they are from the religion. Christian Prince, he said, the prophet, he said, uh, Muhammad, he ordered breastfeeding. He's not lying. The hadith is there. So he will start asking himself, Okay, what kind of a prophet he do that? Why he is ordering the women to give their breast to a stranger? Right? Forget about Christian Prince now. Christian Prince will not be there in their head. The question will be there. Uh, so they might think they are fighting me, but in fact they are supporting me big time. They increase the number of people who watch my videos. They increase the numbers of who people who knows about me. And let us say from 10,000 people who view their videos, only 10, they left Islam because they come to my videos after that. That is a blessing for me. <clears throat> all right. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas to all of you. <coughs> and Merry Christmas to the Muslims too. You know, we want the Muslims to, to live a good life. We wish them a happy life. We wish them to have a good life, actually. We want them to be happy. Uh, and this is why we want them to know about Christ you know Christ bring happiness to your life look what Muhammad did look what Muhammad did you cannot find a single Muslim country since Muhammad came until now not a Muslim country have peace it's not exist and I'm not talking peace now war with the between two countries with different uh, uh, nation no inside the same country there's no peace wherever this religion goes Peace of life from the window. <clears throat> and not only that, you will see some, someone is dummy. He says to you, Islam means peace. Islam does not mean peace. Islam means to surrender. The opposite. It's like in English we say known and unknown. So you see, salam, salam is a word mean peace, salam. 
Islam is not Salam, it's Islam, which means surrender, you will be safe. So Muhammad, he said, he sent the three letters to three kings, saying, convert to Islam, surrender to Islam, and you will be safe. Aslam to Islam. All right. <laughs> Uh, now I made the, today our broadcast a little bit late so we can have people from India, people from uh, Indonesia, etc. They can join us and they can, you know, they can be here. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah. Anyway, uh, now soon the Christmas will be over. Uh, I will be I will be away. I'm not sure when my trip will start. Maybe the, uh, maybe in the 26, 27, something like that. So I will be away for a few days. I will, maybe I will not be able to post uh, long videos, but I will make short ones. You know. Because the place I'm going to, they don't have internet. The only internet I would have is in my phone. Um, so until I have, uh, you know, uh, good internet, uh, I will be able to make video. <coughs> and uh, for sure, I will make short videos for you. Uh, you know, th this place is not far from the beach. I will go uh, fishing. I did not do fishing for a long time. So I will go to fishing and uh, I will record some videos and post them for you guys. So you can see how big the fish I get. Last time I did fishing, uh, last time I was telling you, there was a, uh, was a kid, he's not even 10 years old or 9 years old. Uh, every 5 minutes he got a fish. And I got nothing. He got a fish, I look at him, he, he, he put his tongue out for me like... <laughs> The reason, you know, I'm fishing in a river and the, the, the hooks I have, they are big for the ocean. I'm not used to fishing river. I don't like river fishing. So he ha I have the wrong hooks, uh, obviously. And the kid, he was getting a fish every, like every five, ten minutes, like he get a fish and he put his tongue for me because he, when he get a fish, I look at him and he like, he, he, he like, he's like, lul, lul, lul. <laughs> very funny. <kid. coughs> Do you believe in the Bigfoot? Anik, the only uh, Bigfoot I know is me. I'm not sure if that... Are, are you talking about me? <coughs> Bigfoot, huh? You see, the those uh, those uh, fiction stories, people, they, they like them. Because fiction is always is, is welcome. Any kind of fiction, like, you know, you, you UFO, UFO. This is Muhammad, here we go, you know. Muhammad, he saw UFO. And then now the Muslim do not know what Muhammad saw. So, uh, uh, always a human being, he liked fictions and he spread. So somebody, he made a story, there's a Bigfoot and blah, 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 and that's it. I mean, did you ask yourself a question? If there's a guy, he's a Bigfoot, and so, which means he's so huge, we will not find his bones. I mean, what, what, what happened to those uh, nations? You know, it's like, like the same as the story in the, in the chapter of the cave about uh, Gog and Magog, right? Gog and Magog, those people, they have a big right ear to the point you can, he sleep inside it as a tent. <laughs> and each one of them, he will have 1,000 baby before he die. But we cannot find one. This is Muhammad's story in the Quran. Right? <coughs> yeah. Uh, you know, and, and uh, always there is a lot of ignorance. So, like people, they say to you, uh, "Well, Santa Claus is not real." That's stupid to say. Santa Claus is a real person. There's many stories about him. Is false, yes, but is he a real person? Absolutely. Right. Uh, it's not a vacation, really. Who said? I mean, I'm actually, I'm going to do a lot of work in this uh, trip. But uh, uh, because the place I'm going to is not far from the beach, so I'll go to the beach in the break. <clears throat> Otherwise, I will be working. Um, 
yeah anyway i hope you guys are enjoying your time with your family and you know today like uh, it's it is a christ day official christ day uh, remember if you have a person uh, really i mean he's a maybe he was bad with you for some reason a person from your family a friend you know try to fix it if you are married and you have issue with your wife or with your husband try to forgive you know try to, and you have a family keep your family don't lose your family uh, share your love with people who you know love you you have your children be sure that you give them the love you they need because you know uh, sometimes we don't uh, have attention for small things but small things can affect especially the young ones you know there's many children they 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 become something bad in the in like for their future just because one day when they were children they did not receive enough attention so they felt that they are not wanted or not beloved or maybe you give attention to one kid but you don't give attention to the other kid so you have to be careful you have to be justice you have to be fair you know you hug one child you have you, you hug the rest you give a gift for one of your children you give the rest the second you start treating them unequally, you're starting hate between them. Be careful. You are making your kids hate, hate each other. Not only they will feel bad about you, later they will hate you, they will hate each other. So be sure that you are always loving to all of them and treat them equally. No gift for one more expensive than the other one. If you cannot afford it, don't give a gift. And actually, the only I believe that the, the real gift is to sh to to care for them. Little meal sitting at the table together. This is the biggest gift. <clears throat> what I think about Ray Shabbat, I don't know much about him, you know, uh, but uh, I believe he is an educated person, you know. Uh, there's things I don't I I don't agree with with him, but I think he did a good job. Uh, you know, Ray Shabbat, he was doing a job. Uh, when many they were not doing their job let us say so he was he, he did good i don't agree with him like once uh, he spoke against uh, this uh, the son of hamas i did not like that i felt like it's kind of a jealousy but anyway i mean all of us we're a human being and we do we do mistakes for me he is a good person still <clears throat> was a christ born in 7 november orthodox calendar or 24 of December first of all Orthodox calendar is not 7 November it's January secondly it doesn't matter because the birth of a person would never repeat again by the same date as an example if you are born in January 1st in the year 1950 so when it's come in the year 2000 let's say 19 uh, 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 yeah 1950 uh, when it became 2000 and you celebrate in January 1st, you are, you are making a big mistake because this is not really your date of birth because there's 50 years and every year have an error in the calendar. So every few years, we have to add a day to the calendar to correct it. This is number one. Number two, a date will never repeat itself again. Number three, we don't care for the date. Every day is a Christmas for us because we are celebrating Christ, not a day. There's no day to be celebrated. Wait, Shahad said Allah is a devil and Muhammad is a false prophet of revelation. But was so so what the problem? Christian Malik. Why you are telling me about him? I mean, what, what who am I to ask me about Wait Shabbat? Somebody told told you I'm the judge of the mankind? <clears throat> uh, Dan Gibson, yeah, I look at his work once, but I don't, you know, those things are not really interesting for me. This is historian work, not, 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 it's not part of my what I do. You see, I debate the belief, not history. Because history, a Muslim, he would not believe in the history you show him anyway. Even if you show him a proof from history, still he would deny it. So for me, what I do, I break his belief. I break the concrete of his belief. I make it like dust. 
Yes, you can call if you did not call yet from before. If you call from before, don't call again, please. <clears throat> Yeah, just call, uh, text me, uh, you, uh, uh, tell me you, you like me to call you, I will call you back. So don't, we don't receive many calls at the same time. Like this person here, he asked me to, if he can call, I will call him back. <laughs> yes? Hey, CP. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. How are you, man? I'm fine. Pleasure talking to you. You do uh, great work. I know you uh, listen to this uh, over and over again. But uh, thank you for the will that you gave God to use you as a vessel. That's what we pretty much all appreciate. Um, I'm not going to take too much uh, of your time, obviously. And I'm not going to lie, man. As soon as we get online, you just... Make us nervous, bro, for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I'm a very, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very down to earth person, so you should not. And you, you, are not, you have that and, effect, man. I don't know why. <laughs> and you are not debating me, so <laughs> there's nothing to. <laughs> but uh, speaking on Christmas, uh, I actually wanted to phone in a couple of days ago, but I'm glad I didn't because it actually gave me uh, a good time to really think about, about it and like narrow down uh, what it really means to me. I mean, thinking of Christmas, man, it's like almost, it just hit me in like a phrase. Pretty much God gave us the perfect gift from the perfect God. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much how I see it. That's you get right. to use it every single day. And it becomes more special when it comes around to Easter. But obviously that's another topic that we can get to in Easter. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, I appreciate everything uh, you've done. Uh, I've learned a lot from you uh, regarding that. Hello? Yeah, I hear you. I'm listening. Oh, I thought I cut up. Yeah, I, I learned a lot, man. I learned a lot from you um, regarding Islam, and I'm, I'm just, like, baffled. And I don't know how you do it. Like, I'm actually glad you're taking a break. Um, <laughs> I listen to you. Like, I try to listen to you at least every day. Um and I'm just listening to this over and over. I'm like, how does this guy sit here, talk about all this filth, and like be okay? <laughs> like me personally, I got to take a break after a while. After I hear all this, I'm like, I can't, I can't handle it. But that's how I know, man. God is working through you, blessing you, keeping you strong. We all pray for you. We all pray for all the pretty much uh, missionaries out there that are doing God's work. Um, and I'm just glad we have you as uh, such a strong front line for him when it comes to the Arabic language. Thank you, my friend. Um, so I definitely appreciate it. Thank you. I uh, wasn't sure on the topic, but I did have one question. If you oh. want to go over, like, I don't know, I guess something like about Islam or something like that. Well, let us today not really. I'm, 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 I'm trying to avoid talking about Islam today, you know. <laughs> so it, was just, it was just one thing that came <laughs> right. to my mind. Okay, go, like, okay, go I ahead. I just wanted a clarification since you speak Arabic. Okay, go ahead. Right. When when somebody says like uh, what do they say? Um, Allah Akbar, right? Is that what they say? Uh -huh. Now, I mean, I'm not really good at Arabic, but when they say Allah wa Akbar, doesn't that mean Allah and somebody else? And Akbar, yeah. So it doesn't even say God is great. It says God and Akbar. Right. Yeah, well, Akbar is not a great, first of all. This is fast translation. Because the word, Allah have 99 names, correct? Okay, one of them, no, one, of, one, of, yeah, one of them is, uh, is Al-Azim. Al-Azim is a great. So what, what, Akbar is a great? No, Akbar is bigger. So like if you ask any Muslim, make a sentence. Tell me, yeah. make a sentence, says this apple is bigger than this apple in Arabic. What he will say? He will say this apple, Akbar, from this apple so akbar is bigger all right so those yeah, no, those that, are that was, the idol yeah, that, was, that was the thing i'm trying to point out is like yeah. it's not akbar god is bigger yeah akbar they're not saying god is bigger they're saying god and bigger yeah or, actually there is a reference yeah, yeah. there is there is a reference but i could not find in the internet where where the arab used to have an, an a statues his name is akbar he was one of the idols 
you know. Yeah, exactly. So, I was so, trying to find that with those references also. Yeah, so Muhammad, um, Muhammad simply what he did, he unified between uh, 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 like the idols and he made them one God, uh, like Allah and Akbar, they are one God, you know. This is the, the those are the big, they are the most important ones. You know? Uh, well, yeah. enough of him. <laughs> yeah, Akbar, Merry Christmas, Akbar, brother. Akbar, Akbar uh, Merry mean... Christmas to everybody uh, listening. Uh, again, thank you so much for what you do, and you definitely need a couple of days, man. You know, oh. refresh, uh, refresh your mind, <laughs> and uh, come back stronger. Thank you, Akbar. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm need. not. Uh, I'm not taking vacation. Actually, I'm going. I have a, a lot of work to do. Uh, it's not really a vacation. Uh, but uh, but anyway, I mean, uh, I don't have Whatever internet. You need time off. You need, you need time off. <laughs> yeah, uh, time <laughs> off from uh, this, but I still am working. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's not really a vacation. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much for calling, and I appreciate uh, all the kind words you said. Thank you so much, CP. And if Take you care. need us for anything, man, you got plenty of soldiers ready. You just got to guide us and let us know what to do. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. you yeah. Care. Merry Take Christmas. Care. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Bye bye. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, actually, uh, you know, when I hear you guys, I really, uh, um, I mean, you make me kind of, uh, I want to hang up and go. <laughs> I'm not used, I'm used to people calling me names and like angry from me and Christian friends, blah, 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 blah. So this is not like, it's not normal for me those days, like today and the day before and the day before people calling me and being so nice because usually the calls I get is totally the opposite. You know, uh, you open uh, you open YouTube. You know, if you search, if I search for my name, you will find the scary stuff like Christian Prince getting Christian Prince but Christian Prince. <laughs> you know. Once once I was in the Philippines, and uh, a, a guy a guy he said uh, it's you know he's a he's a, 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 a church uh, a pastor a priest. So he said, where do we come find your work? I said, well, you can search on YouTube. I said, so what I will search for? I said, what Christian prince? The guy here, what Christian prince? And he clicked search. And he went back. <laughs> he was having the, the phone and he showed the guy next to him. And he showed the guy next to him. He said, look, look. And he's just scrolling in the mic, uh, like in the in the in the screen, going up in the video, going up and going up, and never ended, and going up and going up and going up and going up. He said, "All of this." <laughs> yeah, <coughs> but <coughs> sorry. <coughs> the funniest thing in the when I do seminars. When you go first time to a church, they don't know you yet. Like you, somebody, somebody recorded, recommended me, so then they didn't know me. So first time they are careful. Like you know, they say they will give you twenty minute, you know, thirty minute, please, you know. And when you see us like moving our hands like this, you know, it's mean like finish it, you know. Like I mean, they are afraid that what I will say. Uh, oh, we have we have someone calling us, and this is a. Uh, Hello. Hello. Hey, Darius. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, CP. I'm fine. Merry uh, Christmas, my friend. Long time. Long time no see. Where you been? <laughs> I've actually been in the same place. I, I've been listening. <laughs> okay, but I I never heard you. You used to yeah, call well, before. Yeah, well, you know, well, you know, you um, uh, Christians don't don't get a lot of time to call in. Right, right. I agree. But I don't see you even in the chat. Usually, I see you. I see your name in the chat. Yeah, well, um, I'm still listening, even though you know you change your times a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm changing because so we have, uh, you know, uh, those who they are listening. Uh, I like I made a special time for those who they are in in Asia. You know, so oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, because it's a big number. They are big, the biggest Islamic country in the world. You know. Yes, and they really need it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they really so, yeah, so oh, we are trying I, to make I a balance. You know, I don't want to get in the way of it. <laughs> no, no, you are not. Don't worry. I promise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I promise. What you do, man, you are well, a godsend to them because I don't know how you do it, man. Uh, it's 
so much time in Islam is just so stupid. I know, you know, it's so stupid, but still it's uh, it's exists. I mean, it's stupidity, but still it exists. You believe it? <laughs> yeah, it exists, you know what I mean? You know, um, I guess it's been, man, what, about years now I've been listening to you. Yeah. Um, you know, at first, you know, it, it was, it was you know, new. And like, what, man, this, what, that? And, and every day was something new. And, you know, after a while it sinks in. Man, it's it's really this stupid. It's it's there's really nothing else to it, you know. Right. And but you still going at it every day. You like man, hey, showing them what it is, showing them. Basically, I mean, all you do is just like you say, open their books and show them what's written there. That's all it is. And this is what uh, make them upset because you know I'm not making speeches. Islam is bad. We are showing the proofs and the reference. This is what make them upset. And they keep trying to rewrite it, you know. Like I, I saw, well, I don't know what you call it. It wasn't a debate. Whatever there was with Muhammad Ajab and Ali Dawa a while back, <laughs> what, what that was. Starbucks debate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, just him ranting and grandstanding, you know, trying to distract. You know, which that's the point. You know, you show what it says, you try to distract. They... You know, they needed to say something else, but, you know, but it doesn't. <laughs> no, they, you know, the, the, uh, the, their plan was uh, we will make him uh, look bad. We will not let him debate us because we are no match. If we let him talk, he will he will do a lot of harm. So we better just let him, uh, like we call, hang up, mute. Uh, we say what we say and we call, hang up, and mute. <laughs> yeah. But they hurt themselves. They hurt themselves badly by doing that because people they, they they found that they are obviously they are afraid. It's very obvious. Yeah, yeah. But I I, I don't really know what game uh, the job is trying to play. Him and Ali no, no, I mean, no. It's, it's not a game. You see? No, no. Let me tell you what happened. This guy is an idiot. He told them oh. he, he's trying to play a hero. He says uh, he he posted uh, in the poll in his page. Which one you want me to debate next? This guy, this guy, this guy, or this guy. So many people, they told him Christian Prince. Christian Prince, he is harming Islam. Christian Prince is giving Christian confidence. Blah, 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 blah. So now he is in trouble. And then I made a video. He thought, I will not see it. I made a video saying, hey, I'm, come on, I'm waiting for you. You know. So so now he have to keep his promise. And then he said, if you uh, you have to be at 6 o'clock, etc. And then he, he was late 40 minutes hoping that I will give up and I will let it go. So he will say, hey, Christian Prince did not call us, you know? So, and and then because it, is, it looked like he is coming, so they had to play videos, they would not let me talk and uh, hang up on me because if if we have a debate, he knew he is no match. And the funny, every topic he opened, he is the one who changed it, he don't dare to speak about it. From breastfeeding, to uh, from Sakal me, <laughs> <laughs> and the funny he says that the one who said that is a is a sexual predator. But I'm reading your prophet words. <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, that's true. But I mean, like a job though. Okay, he dated he debated David Wood, and he messed up so badly. I mean, everybody in the world was making fun of him for a solid year. Okay. Hatun chases him. Well, I won't say chases him, but he runs away from Hatun like every week. I mean, we see that. <laughs> you know, I mean, you, he's clearly not ready to play on your level. Yeah. So, well, you why know, uh, he uh, he's, ang he's, he's angry. Yeah. He's very angry from me uh, because after his debate with the David Wood, uh, many they have the impression that David he did bad. You know, because he's not good in mockery like like those Muhammadan. You know, he was polite, uh, so they made mockery of him, and that made them think that uh, this guy he is a hero. But then, uh, if you remember, I start making video one after one right away, non-stop. You know, like in the in the coming ten days after that, every day I make two or three videos, getting him busted about the debate. So and that it changed the opinion of many because at, at, the, at the beginning, by the way, many they thought that uh, uh, hijab he did very good you know what i mean this is the impression was from this debate because uh, it was a mockery 
and he get away from the answers and most of people do not know and the Muslim is support anyway so my videos after that they destroyed him and made him look like really like a fool like the video he made uh, to to uh, what his name the opposite prophet yes. and helating and helation video to apostate prophet I made three videos about him I made him shish kebab <laughs> Anyway, my friend, let us not to talk about those kids. Forget about them. They are a bunch of kids, and we are here, and they don't dare to debate us. And Muhammad is exposed. They like it. They don't. They can make the whole uh, thing is he thought he can make me look bad in front of the Christians, but it is it does the opposite it, because the Christian they knew what Christian Prince said and why he said that. So it was a stupid to cut and and to edit a video a, a tape and put it together. And make people think that this guy is a bad guy. You are the idiot, and people are laughing at you. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And once, after all that, the text say what the, the yeah. Quran says what it says, and the hadith says what it says. Um, uh, I said we're the ones. You especially are the ones telling them what it says. Their moms and everything is trying to doctor it and change it, and telling them differently. So. If the ones, if they care to know, they'll look it up you know, and see for themselves. And once they start to, once they start to look it up and see for themselves, well, that's when Islam is in trouble. Yeah. You know what it says there. Well, we are doing, uh, you know, we are doing what we need to do. And I'm glad that our videos are translated to many languages. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, people, they are learning more and more, uh, you know, and things is good. Actually, they, yeah. those people, they are helping me too, you know, because they are promoting uh, my videos without knowing. The more they attack me, the more they help me. Yeah. You know, um, I know you mentioned a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago, I mean, Shabir Ali and how he was going to debate you and then he fucking changed the you know, old story. <laughs> Has Shabir Ali ever written a book? I don't believe I ever heard of a book or anybody quote anything written by Shabir. You know, it's not about okay. It was uh, he write a book or not? But you see, Shabir Ali is a smart person. <laughs> Shabir Ali, he chose carefully. He want to debate who? Because you know he he avoid to be humiliated. This is the whole point. He will be humiliated. <laughs> All of them they are avoiding one thing is to be humiliated. So Shabir Ali, he debate a person. He think he can get away with it. As simple as that, you know. He can say things okay. like when, when, when he was talking with David. What he don't mind to debate David Wood for the coming twenty years. Why? Because it's a it's a classic debate. We are five minutes for you, five minutes for me. This guy he say whatever. The other guy say whatever, and it goes. You know. And I, nice to meet you. Yeah. So he can say whatever. Like when he mentioned the the miracle of number nineteen. If I am there, I will get him busted. I say you know what? I will give you my time. Go ahead, count the words for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? But, with, yeah, but... Yeah, uh, that format, you can avoid the point. Yeah, but, but, you know, they can do that with certain kind of people because they don't speak the language. They don't even have too much knowledge. I mean, as long as you are learning about Islam in English, you are, your, your, your knowledge is limited to what is translated. Correct? Yeah. That's it. Because, you know, how you will know? I mean, this language is in Arabic. It's an Arabic... Uh, Arab God... Arabic prophet, Arab prophet, Arabic uh, books, and everything is in Arabic. So whatever you have, if you don't speak Arabic, is what it translated to you, and depend in the honesty of the translator. Right. So if we yeah. go right now to Ibn Kathir in English, we will find that Ibn Kathir in English, almost seventy percent of the Arabic text is gone. So even if you try to read, you want to educate yourself and you think you became educated in Islam because you are reading a false translation. And not only false translation, I mean, the, 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 the books is gone. You know? Yeah, yeah redacted. Yeah. yeah. So the, uh, anything uh, make Islam look embarrassing, they did not translate that thing. It's not exist. They took it off. <coughs> All right, yeah, well, like I said, now, now, most of the people that we see here, they're just not ready for that type of thing anyway. Because like somebody uh to go and yeah. i can't remember the guy's name but he was expecting you to go to that might have been a job 
you, he was expecting you to go to Ibn Kathir. Yeah, yeah, Ibn, uh, this is in the, yeah, when he called me. some other tafsir. Yeah, and I gave him Ibn Kathir actually, but different book, different hadith. Okay. You know, but because he's a fool, he prepared himself to, to answer about that one. He thought like he's, <laughs> he was, he was not expecting me. And this, and this is why they fear me, because I can surprise them, you know. I can surprise them. They think this guy, he will repeat the same thing. Actually, if he yeah. call me again, well, I will give him different reference. Each time he call me, I promise him, I will give him different. If he dare. <laughs> yeah, but but really, see, you know, is is they can't trick you. See, Islam says what it says. See, when you make the point that well, Islam teaches X, Y, and Z, you know, and they try to say well, it doesn't teach that, and and they all go to like Ibn Kathir or some. He'll pick a book, go to that book, and prepare a distortion there. But then you can prove the same point from a different tafsir, and yeah. they can't. You know, they they can't because because that's what Islam actually teaches. You know, you can see past the deception. You know, the well, it's not just your control over the language; it's the fact that you are schooled in Islam from that language, right? And it's not ready for it. And the fact is, you know, the jig is up. I mean, this is just what Islam teaches. And if you're not willing to live with it, then you should change your religion. You know? Well, they, they, try to they, tried, they tried to defend by, by fraud, but the fraud is not working for their benefit. Anyway, my friend, there's many right. people trying to call. I really apologize. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas no to you. Merry and, Christmas, Happy New Year. Yeah, a Merry Christmas to you and your family, and my prayer to your family to be uh, in, in, good, in good health uh, uh, and uh, living good uh, together. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Thank you, CB. Take Bye. care. Take care. <clears throat> okay guys anyone would like me to call him I will I'm going to call you by order your text just uh, text me say can you call me please and I will call you this way we avoid many people calling at the same time and then we are, we are able not to answer anyone okay I'm trying to call this person but look like his internet is not good here we go <coughs> Hello. Good morning. Hey, my friend. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Christian Plates. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I can tell you are from Sir. Are you from Sri Lanka? No, no, no. I'm from India. Mr. India. Prince. Well, in, is in Sri Lanka as in India before? Uh, uh, yes. True. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and That's is a it? Long time. Uh, uh, they got part of it. But uh, first of all, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you. And all the people there in the chat. Thank you, my friend. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Christian Prince. Uh, the quickly, I will talk because of there is many people they want to call you. Uh, uh, Prince, uh, I was listening to you m maybe for the 10 years. Uh, before in your Facebook, we used to chat each other 10 years before. All right. Uh, but after that in Saudi Arabia they block you then uh, I was looking for other uh, you made a other one then I joined in in that one still I'm, I'm here I'm every day I'm listening to you you are teaching us a lot I'm learning from you a lot of things and um, me and my wife and my families they love you uh, they give me regards to you I extra, morning only we are waiting to re reach you I left home and I came back to the duty Today, Christmas Day, we want to come and work here. I'm li I'm living in Saudi Arabia for 21 years, Mr. Prince. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Christian, a Roman Catholic. But uh, what we can do, I, I came for uh, earning money and I'm stuck here. I was chatting with you in other, uh, uh, other Christian Prince. He was asking me to pay me for your book for, uh, uh, thing to pay me money. I said, uh, I will see, sir, I cannot give you any money, but I love to give you money. I was telling, but uh, two days before you are telling me in the chat, don't give any money to anybody because of it. this is not my thing. Then you put uh, your uh, Skype ID on the thing. Then I, I look it up and I again I trying for you to talk to you. 
Yeah, my friend, there is anyone he asks for money and then my name, he is a fraud. You report him to PayPal so they can investigate yes. his name. Uh, the only place yes. I have a donation is in Patreon. So anyone he do that, obviously he is a, a devil person and he need to go to jail. So this is the only place I yes. accept. I don't have PayPal. This is the only place I, I take a donation in Patreon. And anyone else, he says that you report him immediately to the PayPal and PayPal, they will report the authority. And they will get him. Uh, actually, it was uh, I got uh, I got lot of uh, I got lost lot of money to paying for U.S. visa. The people they cheated me. Uh, they took more than eight thousand five hundred. Uh, yeah, US dollars fraud. You have to be careful. They cheated me. Yeah, there's a lot of people yeah, that do fraud, and you lost. have to be careful. So, friends, I already lost. You know, actually, I was I want to tell you. To help me to get some job, we are. I'm stuck here in Saudi Arabia. I have three kids, and uh, we don't have Akama. Also, you know, Akama is very important. Yeah. My my company is closed. My my company is called Saad. Uh, I, we have a hospital. We have recreation. Everything, and we. You should not. You should not give information. Day. You should not give information about what you work or you do. Be careful. Okay. Uh, uh, you know. Okay. But I advise you, if the work there is not good, go back to your country and the Lord he will open doors for you, my friend. And we will pray for you. Sure, sure, sure. Yes, yes. Pray <laughs> for me and pray for my family. And uh, uh, I'm listening every day. I'm like uh, like I, I addicted with you with your videos. Uh, my wife used to say, what are you watching? I'm watching Christian Prince. Daddy, you not uh, stop watching him? I said, I cannot stop him. Uh, he's, so, he's like... A, he's like in impression for me to learn more uh, more about my god you know he's giving me so much of uh, love and uh, uh, giving so many bamboos for many people so, you know i love that one i i i if i have more uh, more uh, life i will give you more life from me and to you to live more and teach more people thank you friends. thank you you have a person with very yeah. very good heart i can tell well, my friend, I'm not, I'm not going yes. to keep you long. Where many people are trying to call, yeah. please, please send sure. my 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 prayer and my my uh, 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 my best wishes to your family, your wife, your children, and we pray uh, sure. right now that the Lord may open sure. doors for you, so you can find a good job and a job in the, in the better sure. better country than than Saudi Arabia, where you can live a good yes. life and and God He can provide you. And the Lord, to the Lord, we sure. pray. And please, all of you guys, pray for this brother here who need uh, who need uh, uh, help. And the Lord is the best to provide for me. I wish I can really help, but I'm no one. And uh, but uh, I'm sure you know. Always, me myself, I went through things like you. I mean, uh, sometimes I don't have money. Sometimes I mean, the, the the Lord always he open doors. So never lose hope. Yes. And uh, sure. just be uh, be faithful. And God is good, my friend. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Prince, and Merry Christmas to you, to your family. Thank you. May God bless you all, and God bless in the chat, everybody. Uh, I love you, and my my family will be blessing and giving you love thank for you. you. Take care, take care, my friend. Thank you, Prince. I will chat with you in the Skype, right? Right? No problem, but, right? But not now, because I, and, uh, it's no, hard. No, no, not now, anytime. Yeah, when it's I hard. Agree, I will just put the word for you yeah my friend. if you have a time I, because uh, because if i don't answer you you might be as sad i did not answer you i have thousands of people text me i don't even remember I, 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 so i, I know I yeah know, so i, I know. apologize i'm watching you 10 but 10 years i'm waiting after 10 years i'm talking to you all right okay my friend god bless you take care okay take care god bless you thank you friends bye -bye. thank you friends love you bye-bye bye-bye We pray for this person. May the Lord provide him. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is his, uh, Christian Prince, right? Yes, it's me. Yeah. Is Glory here, CP? Sorry? Uh, Glory here. Glo Glory. Okay, Glory. Welcome. Yeah. <coughs> um, thank you. Uh, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And... Uh, my brother and sister in the chat room. Merry mm. Christmas to you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we wish you. We wish you the the best for the year to come, and we we pray that the yeah. Lord He will bless your life. Same to you, CP. 
Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Mm. All right. Let us see who else wants us to call. Um, guys, if you want me to call, you just uh, send me a message saying, "Can you call me? Can you call me, please?" Okay, let's call this person. <coughs> I will call you by the order, which means the one who takes me first, I will call I will call him first. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are... Hello? Yes, do you hear me? I hear you. Go, go ahead. Oh, hello, CP, and uh, hello to everybody, and uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas to you. I'm not gonna give you compliments because I know it makes you blush. Your twenty foot beard might pull off. <laughs> You're not used to it. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Maybe I should call you the devil or liar. You're more used to that, right? No problem. Then you will feel more at home. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to ask you two things, if you don't mind. I'm uh, curious about Go. something. Go ahead. Um, I uh, was talking with my Muslim friend today. He wished me a Merry Christmas. And then I asked him, uh, why don't you Muslims celebrate Christmas? You know, I say, I understand why don't you celebrate Easter? Because uh, you don't believe he resurrected, but you believe Messiah was born, is your Messiah. Why don't you celebrate? Hmm. And he gave me a dual answer. He said to me, brother, we believe he was born, but not on this day. I look at him, I say, it doesn't matter, <laughs> you know, no, why, why don't why, you celebrate? Why you don't ask him which day? Did Allah told you which day? If this is the wrong one, what about you? Give us yeah, the correct one. <laughs> right away. So mm. I want to ask you, do you know, uh, so what's the reason why Muslims don't celebrate the birth of Christ? No, you see, uh, 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 Muslims, they don't use actually to celebrate anything regarding those issues. Even Muhammad, this is something new. Uh, celebrating the uh, because they saw the Christians celebrating the birth of Christ, so then the Muslim they start celebrating the birth of Muhammad. Otherwise, even the the birth of Muhammad was not to be celebrated. Uh, and the Muslims they have no answer always. Like I mean, it's not the date. So what what is the date? Because how you know this is not the date? And what about the real date? Why you don't tell us? Because they know nothing. They know nothing about the Messiah anyway. Do they even have correct name? Ah, okay. Yeah. Yes. And secondly, okay, sec secondly, you know, the, the birth date of Muhammad sometime is in July, sometime is in August, sometime in November, sometime in December, sometime because they are following the Islamic calendar, which is a stupid calendar. So if you are following a date, how what can how in the world a prophet is born in March, twenty years ago, and now he is born in December today? You know what I mean? Because why? Because they are following. If you can go and search it, by the way, you can search like search right now in Google, the birth date of Muhammad for the last, let us say, twenty years. You will see that every year a different, a different month. You know, because because they are following the Islamic calendar. So if he is talking about the wrong date, I mean, they are the one who is following the wrong date. Because what what happened? You see, the calendar is used. Uh, the Muslim they use. This is the pagan calendar exists before them. Then the Muslims, the Muhammadan, they, they decide to make the calendar is exactly the same, but they started from the, the, the month, let us say the new year, from the day of Hijrah. So they say they count according to Hijrah, which means immigration. And that changed the whole thing. So now the month is not a fixed date. Like it, uh, the month, it was, let's say, equal to August. It was August. That said, every year is going to come as August, even in the pagan calendar before Islam, which Muhammad adopted. But by changing the way to count, where to count from, that changed the whole year. And then you will find that the Muslim, they celebrate even Ramadan. Every every year, Ramadan uh, uh, changed 10 days, 10 days shorter, I mean, like uh, moving. So every year there's 10 days different. Why? Because they have a very funny uh, uh, calendar. It's not, it's, it's not accurate. And they are, uh, they change it, they play with it, and they damage it. So now they celebrate the birthday of Muhammad. Uh, I think it was maybe two months or three months ago. You can search it in Google. But a few years ago, it was a, a different month. And a few years ago, it was many, many months before. So uh, if this is not the correct date, so why they celebrate the date of Muhammad? It's a stupid cult. I mean, people, they have, uh, they have ready, ready, uh, 
manufactured answers. They don't even think about them. Yeah, they're bankrupt. Your uh, debate with hijab proved that. They couldn't answer the first question. Why you didn't say inshallah? They say it's a stupid question. You know it's stupid, but it's your religion that teaches that. You know, it's exactly. not our problem. It's yeah. stupid, my brother, it's stupid. Okay, and the second thing only, and this is just my theory, it might be simple. You know how you always advise people when they read stuff, the Bible or a Quran, or a, they should imagine that themselves there, like they're living that, you know? Okay. So I have this theory, I really think, because I was reading the hadiths of Bukhari, I really think Muhammad had like a, how you say in English, compulsive behavior disorder. Because I read, he used to say everything three times, he used to do everything three times, you know. So imagine yourself, you're there, there is a prophet, and he says, Salam alaikum, brother, Salam alaikum, brother, Salam alaikum, brother, how are you, how are you, how are you? Then he go, washes his nose three times, he does this thief three times, but never say God is three. So yeah. I really think uh, he had a compulsive uh, Well, I, no, I, 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 uh, he obviously he have a mental issue. And I think the reason he repeated things uh, three times, uh, <clears throat> uh, you see, Muhammad always, he copied things from people around him. And... Uh, uh, the repeating issue, especially like the greeting, like "Assalamu alaikum," I think because he uh, his his uh, his mental disorder uh, required him to repeat because he don't know if he say it or not. He wanna be sure. Did I say it? "Assalamu alaikum." "Assalamu alaikum." Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You have people who have like this uh, behavior disorder. They have to do things a certain way. Like when they open the doors, they have to like knock three times or uh, cough three, four times. You know, they have like uh, rituals they have to do. Like that. that's a genuine disorder, but I don't know how to say well, it. Well, obviously, English. we don't know really the real reason. We cannot judge. But uh, obviously, uh, Muhammad, he have a mental issue. There's no question about it. Uh, mostly, he have epilepsy. Uh, all the reference proving that, uh, including the time when he saw the angel and he started snoring and screaming and shivering and he had pain in his neck. And this is all is, is, a, is, a, is a symptoms of uh, epilepsy. Uh, but it's not, it's not a shame to have such a disease, I mean, illness, I mean, because you see, if you get, if you are ill with it, I mean, this is not your, not your fault, right? This is not, that will not make him bad person, no. But it will make him not be qualified to be a prophet because he imagined things they never happen, and he see things they never happen, and but still it worked. I mean, even if he's a, he's a fool, still he was able to make people follow him. No. Yeah. yeah, but he had power. You know, if anybody <laughs> would say something, to be sword on the head. You know. Yeah. So nobody could. Yeah, it worked. He came in a he, he came in a he came anyway, in a that, perfect time for for him to succeed. The, the Roman they were t t tired from war with the Persian, and the Persian were tired with the Roman, and the Arab they were not united, and he 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 uh, he made a, a, ga a gang uh, to join him. Anyway, my friend, uh, let me your your net is gone, so let me call someone else. Thank you for calling. Uh, let's see the second person. Okay, Christian. Let us see, I would like here. Don't send me guys saying I would like to add you in Skype. Just text me only if you want me to call you. And by the way, I, I might I might close this Skype account soon because I have God knows. I mean, it's 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 endless names. It's impossible even to know who is the one, who is this, who is that. Let us see this person. Hello? It's not equal. It is not equal. Hmm. Okay. This guy is a joker. <clears throat> so anyway, you know, uh, uh, we, we as a Christians, we have many things to make us be proud to be uh, following Christ. Not proud about us, proud about the person we follow. He is the perfect example, a wonderful person, amazing wisdom, amazing ethic, amazing teaching, amazing act, amazing forgiveness, amazing love, 
and amazing existence. I mean, even in the cult of Islam, they cannot deny that the Messiah right now, he is up in heaven. Even in the cult of Muhammad, while Muhammad is in the grave. So, who in the world want to follow someone dead and live? He is alive, but he followed the dead man. I mean, it would be stupid. Let us, you know, I'll tell you this story. Once, uh, a sheikh, he came to my dad. He's a big, big, big uh, uh, sheikh in, in, the, in the city. He's a very important person too. So, you know, he's visiting my dad, uh, you know, drinking his coffee. And he said to my dad nicely, gently, you know, they are talking like uh, uh, equal people. So he said to him, why a person like you, you know, your family, our great family, etc. It's going to be really good if you if you convert to Islam. So my dad, in, in a nice way, he said to him, well, uh, let me ask you a question. Where is uh, Prophet Muhammad now? He said, oh, he's in the grave. Uh, he said, and where is uh, the Messiah now? He said, well, he's in heaven. He said, well, <laughs> for now I'm alive. I follow the living one. When I die, I will let you know. <laughs> you know, he gave him a very polite answer. I mean, you are following the, a dead person. Look at this logic. If they claim that Muhammad is a prophet and the Messiah is a prophet, how in the world, you know, you follow the dead man with extreme bad ethic, extreme bad teaching, extreme rep bad reputation. He was accused by his follower to be a thief. Even this accused him to steal in underwear. They accused him of stealing money. They, they accused him of sleeping around. His wives, they strike against him because they found him get busted having sex with the, with, with, the, with the servant in their bed. I mean, this guy is an extremely, in everything. How you follow such a, a person? And then in the same time, your book saying that Jesus is a holy person. He have no father. He commit no sin. He have no guilt. He, he, he have amazing miracles. He resurrect the dead. He heal the leper. He can make the blind see. He resurrect. He, he created from the from the from the dust creatures. I mean, what is left for Jesus to be God? And if the Quran miracles want us to believe that Jesus is a prophet, obviously the Quran is uh, fail because you see the Muslim they say that Allah gave Jesus this power. So if we ask the uh, uh, the Muslims, okay, what was the purpose of those miracles was given to Jesus? They say so people can believe. Okay, here we go. We believe. <laughs> but those miracles, if Jesus don't have them, we will not believe he's God. Correct, guys? If Jesus cannot do what he did, nobody will follow him. Because I can say too, I am the son of God, and I am God, and etc. I mean, but, but I can do nothing of my own. So if those miracles wanted us, according to Muslims, according to the Quran, those miracles as, as, is, a, is, a, is given from Allah to Jesus, so people will believe he's a prophet, that means Allah is a fool. Because people did not believe in him that he is a prophet. They believe he is God because of those miracles. So if the purpose of those miracles to make us believe that he is a prophet, that means Allah is a stupid. Why? Because Allah, the Muslim, they claim he knew the future. Don't Allah knew that if I made Jesus can resurrect people from death and he can he can make from the mud the bird and he can make the blind see and he can tell what is hiding in our, our houses and he can forgive people and he can do what no and he will stay alive don't you think that all of this will make them believe this guy is a this person if, if he's a prophet he's not a prophet no more so if this is the reason Allah he gave Jesus the power according to Islam that means Allah is a stupid and he's an idiot and that means Allah do not know the future. Because why he gave him this power? Don't he knew that this power will make the Christian believe his God? For sure, for us, we don't believe that Allah gave Jesus any power because Allah could not do any, give any miracle to Muhammad. Right? <clears throat> Correct, guys? I mean, and the same, I want the Muslim to ask themselves a question. 
Simple question. Why Allah gave all those miracles to Jesus? He gave nothing to Muhammad. They say to you the Quran. What the Quran? Quran is a stupid book. Quran is the most stupid book ever. Imagine I can I say to you now make make a song like Michael Jackson. And by the way, Michael Jackson's songs, even they are stupid, but they are way better than the Quran. <laughs> I mean, what kind of a challenge this challenge is? Who? Okay, I challenge you, Muslim, to make a, uh, to make a book like the Deception of Allah. My book is a miracle, and if you try to copy it, obviously you are copying it. <laughs> and this book is a miracle in stupidity, which believe that the sun set in murky water, the woman have a sperm coming from her ribs, the man have a sperm coming from the backbone, and the. Uh, 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 you know, there is a, a bird, his name is the hood hood. He go and he find women who have no hair in their legs. And there is a, an ant, she told the other ants, go and hide in their houses, blah, 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 you know. <coughs> right? Madness, isn't it? Merry Christmas to all of you. Let us see if there is somebody you want to call. Want us to call? Merry Christmas. Okay, guys, do you like to call or what? Those who they are sending us Merry Christmas. Well, thank you very much. I apologize. I cannot answer everybody. I mean, imagine if I, you know, <clears throat> one of my cousins. I apologize for, to answer people sending me texts saying Merry Christmas. Please forgive me. I cannot answer everybody. Uh, one of my cousins, uh, Muhammad, he went to the movie, and uh, he is a Bedouin uh, guy. And uh, we have a tradition that we have to say Assalamu Alaikum when we enter a place. So Muhammad, he went to the movie, he came back. And we said to him, hey Muhammad, tell us what's, uh, what, what you saw in the movie, Muhammad. He said, uh, Translation. So we ask him, Hey, Hamad, what you saw in the movie? Tell us, what, 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 what was the story in the movie? He said, <laughs> Don't ask me, don't ask me. By the time I finish saying, Assalamu alaikum, shaking hands, the movie was over. You know what I mean? And this is what will happen to me if I start answering everybody in, 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 uh, in Skype saying, Merry Christmas. By the time I finish saying Merry Christmas, it's going to be the new year for the coming year. Not this year, 2020. Yeah. So like, he, he want to practice uh, Assalamu Alaikum. You know, he must. You know, he have to shake hands with everybody in the movie. People say, sit down. Like, sit down, man. Sit down. Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Like, sit down, Mehdi. Assalamu Alaikum. Sit, sit down, sit down. Assalamu Alaikum. He have to shake hands with everybody. Come on. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. The wisdom of Arabia. <coughs> or oh, now in Saudi Arabia, this crown prince is changing Saudi Arabia. Now they have parties, you believe it? In the beginning, actually this guy is really changing this country. I uh, Maybe he's a criminal, yes, but this country he deserves, he needs someone like this. You know, he needs someone, you know, he is forcing change. So look, he have now festivals. They are bringing singers. Women, they are attending the festivals. And yesterday, they gave 10 women tickets. Tickets for misbehaving. <laughs> I mean, festival. No, not only that. They, uh, I saw uh, what, what they call those uh, like uh, guys. Uh, what they call them? Uh, like when a bunch of guys, they go like uh, do camping, but for a school or something. What they call them? So they have the same for women. Guys, imagine they are doing camping with those, with this uh, burqa. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can find the news. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, how you can do this such an activities with this burqa? Uh,
yeah here we go I found uh, but there's no pictures hold on I'm trying to find the picture there's no picture yeah <laughs> and let us see if I can yeah there's a the news but there's no pictures anyway imagine they are going to do these activities like do camping and you are wearing a burqa I mean how you can uh, uh, climb the cliff how you can climb the rocks how you can make fire I mean <laughs> amazing you know this religion will make you really I mean it's it is not only not everything about it is is funny <coughs> Everything about it is funny. Who is the ignorant we are talking about? Warrior? Who is this warrior? We have a bad boy in the bushes. Uh, all right. his name is warrior of Yemen my friend if you are warrior of Yemen you will be in Yemen obviously you are not because in Yemen right now there is no electricity there is no internet there is no food and you are no warrior for no Yemen you have money to uh, to buy a computer to have a phone to have internet but you have no money to help your people in Yemen who they are dying and the children are dying. Yeah, this is Faris, the kid, the idiot. Yeah, Yemeni boy. <clears throat> I mean, look what Islam did. Yemen was a great country, by the way. Yemen have a very old civilization. Since Islam came, this country is gone. It's history. Whatever Islam come, Civilization is over. They have an amazing, this is an old, old civilization in Yemen. The temple of Al Makkah is taken from Yemen, which is Al Makkah, the temple of Al Makkah. Yeah. Wherever this cult goes, everything will be, will be destroyed. <clears throat> Yeah. Anyway, guys, I think we have uh, we have enough for today. I'm sure you guys you want to have a good time for your family, and for me because you are my family, I spend in my my Christmas night with you. Already here is 12:30 a.m. in the morning, so it's already for us a Christmas officially, and I'm really happy to have all this wonderful family. Thank for all those who called us. Thank you for those who made donation. I really appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate your support and uh, uh, we pray to, uh, don't forget please to pray to our friend uh, from Sri Lanka the one who called or sorry from India uh, he need our prayer and pray for all the poor in the world you know uh, maybe we are not rich maybe uh, you know we are limited I mean we are talking to a person even we do not know we don't know he even I mean but Trust me, the world is full of a lot of poor people. They are trying just to make living. They don't want anything. They don't want to have palaces or to, to, to have nice cars, fancy homes. They just want to live, you know. A lot of people, they are suffering. So think about what you have. Thank the Lord for the gift for what you have. Because what you have, it might be little. You might be jealous from someone else because he have much more. But trust me, my friend, you are blessed. And the number one blessing is to be healthy. All the money in the world is equal to nothing when you are not healthy. So we pray first for the health of our brother who, who was looking for a job for his family. We pray for all the poor, Christians, Hindus, Muslims, poor in the world. They are blessed by the Lord and I pray that the Lord, he will help them. I pray that the Lord will feed them. But the Lord, he will not send food from the sky, but the Lord, he used the good ones of us to help the poor. So if you are a person who have, who can, you know, 
uh, if you see someone a neighbor somebody from your town somebody you think he is bad someone is lonely someone is old someone he cannot work someone he have no income there's a lot of people i saw you know it's really uh, i mean it's 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 very 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 disappointing how a human being is is greedy and don't care i enter a house <coughs> uh um uh, not last year yeah last year uh, i enter a house of an old woman you know i mean she have nothing no, nothing nothing she have no kids she have no family she have nobody uh, and i was saying to myself you know like you know you say you, you know like sometime I, I i'm i'm short of money i'm almost like i feel bad i mean why this is happening to me but when i see those people i say Lord, I'm lucky. I'm really lucky. I'm really blessed to have what I have. And always remember, if you have feeling for others, the Lord, he will have feeling for you. If you don't feel for them, he will not feel for you. Because a person who don't feel for others, he don't deserve anyone to feel for him. The second we became selfish, this earth, this earth, all of it is suffering because there's too many selfish. There's people who own trillions of dollars and there's people they have nothing. And the one who own trillion, he want more. He's not enough yet. The guy who own Amazon, is did he have enough? No. The one who own Google, do he have enough? No. The one who own Apple, is he have? No. They will never have enough. It doesn't matter how rich they get still they feel hungry and they are not satisfied for simply christ is not in, he is not exist in their lord and in, in their in their heart and this is their lord you know the bible says you know you, your heart is where where is your treasure your heart is where your treasure so what a treasure you have will decide where heart belong so if your treasure is to be a human and to be loving as jesus he told you to be then your treasure is there. If your treasure is money and to be rich, then this is who you are. This is your Lord. This is your God. And you are a slave for it. Let us feel for people who they are around us. And if you are a poor person, still you can help. There's people who they need just somebody to visit them. There's a woman, maybe she needs somebody to wash dishes for her. She's very old. Somebody to clean her house. She, she, didn't, she was not able to clean it for a year. Nobody come to visit this woman. Nobody come to visit this old man. They have no family. They have no friends. They try to be a friend for someone who needs your friendship. You will lose nothing. Even if you are poor, you can, you know, you can share a hug. You can share a love. Uh, you know, there is many things we can do. Uh, Christmas is not about Christmas tree. Christmas is not about a meal. Christmas is about the spirit of the Messiah that he come to this earth. And since then, everything should be changed. He is the person who said, love your enemy. So what about love the people who deserve love? I mean, they are not enemies. People who they are poor, people who they need help. And especially, especially old ones. I feel really sorry for a lot of old ones who they are left behind. Their kids even don't talk to them because their kids became, I don't know what to say, disgusting, you know? I mean, how in the world the person, he, 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 he throw away his, his parents he don't want to talk to them just because they are old and his wife she don't approve it and how a wife she don't want the the husband to 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 support his his parents and how in the world a human being he accept that so there's a lot of bad things we do in our life and the christmas day is a day to remember what we did in the last year and how many good things we did and how many bad things we did and how we can correct the bad things so I pray that all of us, we will have a, you know, we will renew our heart. We will be different people. And I'm sure that there is many ways to help. There is many ways to help. You know, always uh, saying I cannot help is an excuse. Because as I said, there's some, there's things do not need money. Uh, you know, you have a neighbor, she's an old, she have no kids visiting this neighbor taking care of her from time to time go uh, wash dishes for her is, is just a nice thing to do it costs you no money right so please be loving 
and please be giving and the most important giving is not about money is about giving with love giving your love share your love with somebody be useful in the community be useful to your family and if you are married be faithful if you are not happy with your uh, family try to fix it try to see what's wrong uh, try try to be uh, more just with your children uh, uh, you know try to teach them how to be a loving family you see family is not just a parents and the children's family is tree of love if that love is not exist there's no family it, they are just like a bunch of rabbits they live, they live together they sit together on the table to eat carrot like rabbits but they don't really care for each other they don't know each other so we are not rabbits we are a human being we should be loving and we should care for each other when one of us he sees someone sad he should care for that person and if you see something wrong you better fix it because that wrong can happen to you and you don't want to happen you don't want that to happen to you you know the same as you treat people I believe you will be treated what you wish to others is going to happen to you if you wish evil evil will turn into you if you wish good good will be back to you so we pray to the Lord that the Lord he will guide us he will be our a, a, a source of wisdom source of love and we will start soon with the coming uh, uh, new year we will start a new calendar and this new calendar will be a new refreshing uh, time and a refreshing start and what happened last year should not be the same as the coming year the coming year should be better uh, uh, and better in things we can change there are things we cannot change there are things about death and life there are things about uh, sickness those things not in our hand but there are things we can change and that how we treat people around us so thank you all for being here i'm losing my voice i wish i can stay more you can tell and i pray to christ that the lord he will provide us with, uh, with more years to come so we can sit together speak learn and share love and caring with each other and again, I appreciate all of you. Merry Christmas. May the Lord bless you, bless your family, and give you peace and happiness, good and worth, and keep you uh, uh, away from being in needs. You know, keeping away, keeping you away from need of money, uh, need of others, uh, uh, keeping you away from being humiliated because of your needs, uh, keeping you away from uh, sickness and disease. Uh, uh, you know, keeping your heart, your soul uh, uh, protected from the devil and the temptation of the devil. And all of us, we are sinners. And sin is all of us something we share. But there's one hope only to fight our sin. That is the Messiah. We do sin, we feel guilty. We try to fight it. We try to resist it. But sin come back and sin will knock at, at your door again and again and again. And then you start, you know you, you know, you fight it back. Never give up. Never say, I cannot do it. And I will let that thing take over my life. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. I will try to be tomorrow live on air if I can. Until then, Christ is Lord. And anything else is false. Everything is going to perish. Except those who believe in me and die they will live the word of my lord thank you very much take care